Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Wise and Unreal Audio Implementation Guide Series. In this step, we set up Wise with a blend container so that we can trigger fast and slow impacts as the projectile bounces. We also set up blueprint parameters to stop over triggering of the projectile as it comes to a stop. First, we set up Wise with the associated projectile impact bounce content via a blend container using a game parameter for projectile speed allowing the game to inform WISE whether to play fast or slow impact audio assets. Navigate to the Game Syncs tab. Under Game Parameter, right-click the default work unit. Then select New Child, Game Parameter. Name it GP underscore projectile underscore speed. Select the Game Parameter. Then change the range values to the following. Min equals 0, Max equals 3000, and default equals 3000. Navigate back to the audio tab. WEP underscore shotgun actor mixer. Right click, then select new child, blend container. Name it WEP underscore SHG underscore projectile underscore impact. Open the blend container. Then click on the new blend track UI button. Name the new blend track Shotgun Projectile Speed. Then close the Blend Track Editor. Right click the Blend Container. Then select New Child Random Container. Copy and paste the random container so you have two random containers. Name each one individually Generic underscore Fast and Generic underscore Slow. With the Blend Container selected, in the Contents Editor, Assign the slow, then the fast random containers to the blend tracks list. Open the blend track editor again. Take the crossfade box. Then click on the arrow UI button. Assign the GP underscore projectile underscore speed game parameter. Then set the following coordinates in the graph for the slow and fast impacts. Slow equals 0 to 2000 and fast equals 1000 to 3000. Click on the arrow UI button in the blends list. Then select voice volume. On the same line, click on the second arrow UI button. Then assign the GP underscore projectile underscore speed game parameter. Select the voice volume line, displaying a red line on the blend track. Add a point marker at 1500. Then drag the marker to 0.0, .0 voice volume. Close the Blend Track Editor window. Drag in associated one shot light and heavy projectile impact audio assets. Place the assets under the File Importer Destination Path, SFX, Weapon, then Shotgun. Navigate to the Share Sets tab. Under Attenuations Weapon Work Unit, right click, then select New Child Attenuation. Name it ATT underscore WEP underscore projectile underscore impact. Open the attenuation, then set the following values. Change the max distance to 2000. In the graph, add a point marker to the red line, then move it to the coordinates X equals 400 and Y equals 0. Right click the red line after the 400 point marker, then select the logarithmic base 3 curve. Now close the attenuation window. Return to the audio tab. Then select the blend container. In the positionings tab, add the following. Tick override parent. Then under listener relative routing 3D spartalization, change the drop down menu to position. Under attenuation, assign the new ATT underscore WEP underscore projectile underscore impact attenuation. Right click the blend container. Then select New Event, then Play. Navigate to the Events tab. Move the event into the Weapon WEP underscore Shotgun virtual folder. Rename the event to SFX underscore WEP underscore SHG underscore projectile underscore impact. Save the WISE project updates and generate the sound banks. Then check the Weapon sound bank includes the new projectile impact content. Next we set up Unreal Data with a new WISE associated projectile impact content. Navigate to the content browser, content, audio, WISE underscore event, SFX underscore weapon, WEP underscore shotgun folder. Open the WISE picker, then drag in the event, 
sfx underscore wep underscore shg underscore projectile underscore impact into the shotgun folder. Double click the event. Then assign it to the sb underscore weapon sound bank. Save the event update. Generate the Unreal sound banks. Then import the updated sound bank content. Next we set up the first person underscore projectile blueprint nodes with the wise variables we have implemented. In the main toolbar, select the blueprint drop down menu. Then under open blueprint class, scroll to the bottom of the list, then select the blueprint first person underscore projectile. In the components tab, right click the collision component, then select add event, add on hit component, adding the new event to the graph. Right click the graph, then in the search box type branch. Selecting it adds it to the graph. Right click the graph, then in the search box type get velocity. Selecting it adds it to the graph. Right click the graph, then in the search box type vector length. Selecting it adds it to the graph. Right click the graph, then in the search box type float greater than float. Selecting it adds it to the graph. Connect the following nodes together. On component hit event to branch node. Get velocity node to vector length node. Vector length node to float greater than float node top input. In the float node value box, change the value to 250. Then finally float greater than float node to branch node condition input. Right click the graph, then in the search box type set RTPC value, selecting it adds it to the graph. In the set RTPC value node RTPC box, add the wise game parameter name GP underscore projectile underscore speed. This must match the wise game parameter name exactly. Right click the graph, then in the search box type post event at location, selecting it adds it to the graph. In the post event at location node, aka event box, set the event as sfx underscore wep underscore shg underscore projectile underscore impact. Then connect the following nodes together. Branch node true output to set rtpc value node. Set rtpc value node to post event at location node. Get act location node to post event at location node location input. Then finally vector length node to set RTPC value value input. Mouse drag a box around the nodes we have added. Then press C on your keyboard. Name the comment box SFX projectile impact and bounce RTPC event. Save and compile the blueprint updates. We can now test our updates in game. Connect wise to Unreal. Solo the projectile impact blend container. Change to the wise layout profiler. Filter the capture log by the projectile impact content. Then play the map. Fire the gun at a surface allowing the projectile to bounce off multiple surfaces. You should now hear the initial main hit then multiple bounces of the projectile as it comes to a stop. However, before the projectile comes to a complete stop, the event should stop triggering, avoiding a lot of spam events being triggered at the end of the projectile's life. Make any balancing changes you wish to make, disconnect WISE to Unreal, then save the WISE project updates and generate the sound banks in WISE and Unreal.